Evil narcissistic sister tried seducing my fiancé before my wedding to break us up gets caught on camera and disowned by parents This is about my elder sister Dove 29F who just couldn't stand my existence because apparently I was leading a life that I didn't deserve she's divorced and living with my parents as she's jobless she dropped out of college for her rich boyfriend who eventually divorced her when she showed her true colors growing up my relationship with my sister was never great she was the pretty and smart one kind of full of herself parents always praised her and sided with her leaving me with a feeling of incompetence people raved about her looks while I was just may it hurt you know and she'd use all that to mess with my head saying nobody liked me those childhood digs left me super insecure my parents never took my side and overlooked my feelings because she always fulfilled their expectations so I kind of distanced myself from them as a child and teen she always had. Friends over at our place when parents were at work her friends would mess with my room too and once they even messed up my project and I almost failed I was going to tell mom about that but then Dove Black blackmailed me by saying that she would share my ugly pictures with. My classmates and as a 14 year old I got really scared she never took responsibility for her actions and telling my parents was pointless cause they never paid attention anyways she did a bunch of stuff that made me hate her. Guts mom never had my back but dad would sometimes call her out once she used my phone to send weird piece of chaos of mine to my girls group because I complained to dad about her then she spilled coffee on my prom dress and played all victim by crying and saying that she accidentally did so I stopped confiding in him I don't get why she had this much hate for me later I realized that she was a narcissist and it had nothing to do with me she was a major red flag in her relationship and literally cheated on every guy she dated I hate to admit it but she was a gold digger to her ex still being my friend says it all basically she was pretty evil as a teen and as an adult nothing changed her behavior went downhill it was all my parents fault because they never Tried to discipline her anyways things started getting better after school I worked hard to get into my dream college and after a few initial years of struggle landed my dream job there I met the love of my life Atlas at an office. Conference he was smart kind and handsome we got connected instantly and it was within a few months that we started going out on dates we traveled a lot for vacations date trips and tracks and it kind of helped our relationship strong Atlas was tight with his. Siblings so he introduced me to his brothers and parents just a few months into the relationship but I took my own sweet time to introduce him to my parents the main reason I delayed this was because of my sister Dove and her evil. Intentions I always had a nagging feeling that she would mess up everything she was the one who always got the best thing as a child and as a teenager and now that my life was sailing better than hers I'm sure she would not be able to take it especially the relationship. Part however I could not delay for longer Atlas was getting suspicious of my reluctance to introduce my family so after a year and a half of dating I told dad about him he was happy that I found myself a man who was worthy of me. He invited us for dinner I was excited but equally stressed because I know Dove can go to any lengths to screw up my life though Atlas knew about my family dynamics I still discussed over in detail he was chill about it and said he'd handle things a few days later. To my call to dad I got a call from Dove it was surprising because she had never called me before she was asking me about Atlas and when I would be visiting home she was more interested in knowing details about Atlas I'm guessing mom. Would have told her that I was dating this guy and we are pretty serious now she's all trying to get cozy with me and I was aware of the reason behind her interests now I'm worried about whether I should really take the risk of introducing Atlas to do because I know. Her intentions are not good I'm also thinking of an alternative to calling my parents over at my place to introduce Atlas update 1 thanks for all the cool advice a few of you commented asking more about Dove here we go it's true. That my parents specifically my dad's stance changed about my sister after her divorce and she has ruined it for herself she was very good academically but as soon as she got into college her whole focus was on her body and beauty Dove met this guy. Jeremy who was super rich and got into a relationship with him ditching her studies I was prepping for my college entrance exams during my school finals year and she kept saying that I would never get my dream college but I did for the first time I got validation from my parents they were happy and proud of me but my sister was envious when all the attention was on me and not on her my parents organized a celebration party with close family and friends for my achievement she wanted to ruin my party and hog all the attention so she announced her engagement to Jeremy right there you could clearly tell from Jeremy's expression that he had no clue about this but she was successful in her mission of making that day about hers everyone got enthusiastic to know about Jeremy because he was apparently rich as per my sister do always showed me the expensive gifts he bought her and would say that I'd never land a rich husband because I'm ugly and nobody would want to date someone like me constantly. 
Making me feel bad I told her that I'm not a gold digger like her and can pay my own bills while she can have the rich husband she wants she was evil overall and was the most selfish person I've ever met in my life a week later do and Jeremy got engaged and I was already off to college and did not attend the engagement during college I never had any conversation with her going home for holidays felt good because Dove was living with Jeremy even during holidays she would off tour vacations to exotic locations with Jeremy after a year of dating they got married at a lavish wedding of course the majority of the expenses were covered by Jeremy dad paid for the remaining as a courtesy because she didn't earn anything their marriage Sustained for a brief period and after three years of their marriage they got divorced the reason I got to know was Dove didn't want to have a baby but Jeremy was eager to become a father though he told me he never forced Dove but hated how she never disclosed her preference before and kept avoiding the conversation for three years he also mentioned her drinking and partying habits flirting with guys and bars and that she married him only for money and had no emotional connection I wondered if he was stupid to not know her motive for so long Jeremy showed me videos where Dove would go out drinking with guys and they would touch her appropriately and she wouldn't stop them good for him that he got rid of her my parents sided with Dove and put all the blame on Jeremy for forcing her to have kids never admitting Dove's fault after the divorce Dove moved in with my parents because she was not earning she dropped out of college to marry Jeremy and now after five years she had no college degree and no work experience she put up an act of being traumatic because of the divorce but in real she was happy being free within a month of her divorce she was back to her game of clubbing and hookups her life seemed to revolve around weekly dates and ditching people her instagram stories were enough to let me know what she was really up to after two years of my career i landed my dream job with great money and my parents were thrilled i visited home after the job offer and dad was so proud of me i couldn't be happier we were having dinner when Dove returned home looking partially drunk dad was upset at her sight and said Dove should have pursued education like me and not messed up her life behind Jeremy showing how much I was earning and that Dove was still dependent on them for money mom asked dad not to make such comments hearing this Dove lost it slamming the door that's when dad realized how spoiled Dove was he told mom to put some sense in Dove that she needs to take her life seriously and get back to her feet instead of leeching on them I think of her that because later she came into my room and told me that I could never be like her no matter how much money I made she bought shamed me pointing at my belly fat and chubby cheeks I was just fed up with her as a teen I used to be heartbroken with all these comments but now I just don't care I laughed at her and said I really didn't want to be like her and she clearly needed to fix her attitude oh my god she unleashed her wrath on hearing this and asked me to get out of the house I was like this is my parents house and she was no one to boss over me the next day when I was packing for my return I noticed that two of my dresses were badly torn clearly cut with scissors I went downstairs and showed my parents do's childish act dad called for Dove in anger but mom tried to cover for her that Dove was in shock and didn't know what she was doing dad warned mom to stay out of it dad stormed at her end warned her to get her life together and that he could no longer provide for her and tolerate her narcissism it didn't go down well with Dove. And she hated me for all this since then I've been subjected to Dove's deadly wrath I was unbothered by her hatred but it became unbearable when she tried to make advances on my boyfriend so after much thinking and discussing this with Atlas I finally decided to visit my parents with Atlas there was no point hiding him from Dove because no matter how hard I tried she would have eventually reached him my friends advised me to better test the man now than to lose him later Dove would succeed in his malicious intention only if Atlas gave in with much dread I showed up with Atlas to my parents I tell you she was just throwing herself at him he was exchanging greetings with mom and dad when Dove just pushed herself on him for a hug I don't know what made her think that Atlas would fall for her looks she had changed her looks dyeing her blonde hair black getting all dressed up with a new dress nails and hair all done as if Atlas was there on a date with her she was forcing her way into the conversation and it was evident that everyone was ignoring her at the dinner table she rushed to sit beside Atlas when I asked her to move and that I wanted to sit there she gave me an annoyed look and moved she kept asking Atlas about his interests and if he said he liked something she'd say she liked it too even if she didn't then she'd go on about how she and Atlas were so compatible and wink at me not to take it seriously but it was obviously to cover up Atlas was clearly super awkward he ignored her and broke the conversation with dad and mom her crappy move was just so evident after dinner I went to take a shower and Atlas was alone by himself when Dove walked in asking Atlas to call her number as she was not able to find her phone he did this was all to get his number how sick he also told me that when I was busy with some other stuff Dove tried to gain his sympathy by narrating her sob story of divorce and mental distraught which took years for her to recover the fun part. 
was mom also joined her in bitching about Jeremy after a while Atlas asked me if I wanted to go for a walk and give him a tour of the neighborhood before I could say anything my sister stood up and said sure Atlas gave her a surprised look and said he wanted to have some alone with me her face flustered in embarrassment and she went inside her room it's just been a few days of that visit and I'm anticipating Dove to pull up tactics to lure Atlas inside her pants no doubt I'm scared of it but I also trust my man and want to see how he handles her advances update to hello everyone I'm engaged Atlas proposed to me last month on a trip yes he went down on his knees with a ring and I couldn't stop gushing over it and yes after my visit to my parents. Dove did try to pull her tactics of manipulating Atlas she texted him asking how he was doing Atlas is a cat lover so Dove would bomb his inbox with cute cat videos though she never had any affection for cats after she got to know about Atlas. Gushing over cats she got one for herself and now she records her and sends them to Atlas for the initial few weeks Atlas would show me Dove's desperate greetings and caring messages asking him about his work she pretended to be also caring but after a while he Stop telling me about her messages I thought she had given up on him and moved on we also kind of moved on from her topic I mean obviously we had better things to do in life we had a hectic work schedule once I was scrolling through my social media and saw Dev added to Atlas's account and she was liking and commenting on each of his posts with those cute silly hard icons she had even commented on his old pictures and videos of the last 7 to 10 years I didn't get a good feeling about it and out of the blue I checked his phone I saw Dev was still texting him every now and then but her texts were there unread and they were kind of weird she was really trying hard to get Atlas's attention in the call logs there were missed. Calls including one received around 3 a.m. and seeing that got me feeling anxious so I confronted him about why he didn't tell me about Dove texting him Atlas got all nervous and said he was ignoring it and thought it was better we didn't discuss her I pressed him about the calls and he stayed calm then sat me down and explained that one day Dove called him when she was really upset he got scared and thought something was wrong and then she started talking about some traumatic stuff related to Jeremy and needing someone to talk to Atlas told her she should talk to her parents and that it wasn't appropriate to call in this late he told Dove that she should have told me first that really got to me and I told him hiding this information was not going down well on me and I may stop trusting him he assured me that he was never going to fall for her tricks and that I had nothing to worry about I have read hundreds of such posts where the husband has fallen to this trick despite trying hard to avoid it and I don't want to make a fool out of myself by trusting him blindly I told him that whenever Dove calls him next he needs to hand over the phone to me I wanted to catch her red-handed in her malicious move and one day her call came through and he woke me up in the middle of the night I answered she was silent when she heard my voice and then she said said it was by mistake and hung up I called her the next day many times to warn her but she never responded I texted from Atlas's phone and said it was me and that she should not call or text Atlas unnecessarily at odd hours and that if there was anything urgent she should call me and not him she stopped texting him after that I was finally relaxed that she was out of our life. After Atlas proposed to me I sent the picture of the ring to my dad Dose must have shown that to mom and Dove and she started her stalking game again she again started texting him and sending stupid videos I was so done with her as soon. As Atlas told me I called her and yelled at her that she should stop pulling her tactics and get a life she was silent for most of the time while I unleashed all my suppressed anger but little did I realize that she was not going to give up as soon as I hung up I got a call from mom super angry yelling at me for insulting my sister Dove told mom that I was accusing her of stealing my fiance mom was like your cruelty has given panic attacks to my daughter can't you be a little considerate towards your sister who has been struggling with depression over these years and that she was yet to recover from her traumatic divorce that was funny because Dove was never depressed about her divorce anyways I hung up the call and told dad that if they continued to turn a blind EY toward Dove then I would have cut them off for my life I can't continue to be a puppet in her game I was done ignoring her update 3 I never thought she would stoop so low she'd always made my life hell but I Never thought she'd try to seduce my fiancé before my wedding I mean all that bullying body shaming and making fun of me was one thing but it was a hard pill to swallow that she actually tried to seduce my fiancé and break my wedding so we were planning our wed bit. By bit I was not talking to mom after the last confrontation but she called me and apologized for shouting at me she was like I got scared to see Dove getting panic attacks and hence she lost her control earlier one of my cousins told me how Dove has been sobbing at my happy life she has been telling everyone how I was accusing her of stealing my fiancé and how I was the undeserving of everything I was getting the job and mainly Atlas according to Dove since she is the gorgeous one she should get the best of everything and not me I told mom about this and she went silent she was like okay you forget get everything and focus on your wedding and your happy life ahead everything happened as planned Dove was keeping it low. 
Key all this while at least she didn't pop up in our life on the day of our wedding we were at the venue busy getting ready for the big moment I got a call from Atlas's best friend asking me to come to Atlas's room with my parents I playfully teased him that. Atlas can't see the bride before the wedding he said it was something serious and we needed to address this before the wedding my heart pounded and I rushed to his room with my parents Atlas was lying shirtless slipping in and out of consciousness while his groom's men narrated Dove's cunning tactics Atlas was getting ready in his room when Dove arrived with a drink he refused to have it but Dove forced him for a sip Atlas took a sip and he understood that the drink was spiked he excused himself and went to the washroom he called his friend explained everything and asked him to come over by the time his friend rushed into the room Atlas had partially passed out and was out of the washroom his friend was sharing the room with. Atlas so he had to access C of the room he was swift to switch on his camera while sneaking inside the room he heard Atlas shouting at Dove to leave him alone while Dove was was sitting on him undressing herself and rubbing herself over him this disgusting act was. Captured on camera when she saw Atlas's friend she pretended that they were making out and she covered up herself and went outside she didn't realize that she was already recorded she smirked at his friend and asked him not to tell. Anyone about this when we went there Atlas was still lying there partially unconscious the drink was so strong that it left Atlas with severe dizziness and headache just with a few sip the drink was still lying there with some solid particles settled at the bottom it was a super embarrassing moment for my parents and they couldn't believe Dove would do something so awful mom called her asking her to come to Atlas's room she came with smudged lipstick on her face she was like I know you guys are mad at me but it was mutual Atlas loves me and he has been making advances on me ever since he met me and today he convinced me for a one-time hookup before the wedding mom slapped her hard telling her that we knew the BS she was trying to pull off and that her hornet had been recorded on camera she was shocked to know that my parents kicked her out of the venue before she created any further scene the security was instructed to not let her enter the premises she deliberately wanted everyone to know that she was making out with Atlas so that I cancel the wedding my dad called the doctor who confirmed that Atlas was served a spike drink which messed up his head Atlas's parents and siblings were so agitated that they wanted to hunt her down my parents had to Apologized to them to calm them down the wedding was delayed until Atlas recovered after several rounds of puking this news didn't take long to reach the guests who were served with hot gossip for the next few days when Atlas recovered dad walked me down the aisle I was happy to see him as my husband but I was equally stressed about everything that had happened Atlas added one extra point to his vows that he would protect our relationship from all sorts of people who didn't like to see us together after we returned from our honeymoon my parents visited us and apologized to Atlas for all the trouble caused by Dove dad assured us that Dove would be out of our lives he has actually kicked her out of the house and told her to live on her own I'm still not able to get over the incident my wedding was an inch close to being called off if his friend hadn't recorded that I would have never believed that Atlas was not involved in this. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel.